Back at 1B guaranteed Bain Court, Braves with a four-point edge early on. So I mentioned a couple of times, the Braves' first losing streak in over a year. That was back on December 14th of last year through the 17th. Non-conference loss to Barton. And then the first conference game of the year here at home, the Braves lost to Columbus State. It's McCray at the free throw line. Braves haven't had a three-game losing streak. You got to go back to 2016-2017 for that. Clayton State, they're coming off of a four-game losing streak of their own, snapping it with that win over North Georgia. Lakers have struggled here on the road, just three and eight compared to five and six on their home court, affectionately known as the lock. Braves by two. Struther on the wing. Now Bryant, freshly checked into the game, and he knocks down the jumper. Bryant had started the majority of the game so far this year, but now the past three, he's come off the bench, and he's taken to that role. Whistle blows, and that'll be a foul second of the game on Pruitt. Carson Mounts will check in. Bryant against Aiken, 15 minutes, collected two points on one of three shooting. One of the perhaps more important role has averaged five rebounds the past two games as well. Driving, tucks in, underneath to Owens, who can't keep it inbounds, foot on the line. Head coach Jimmy Link a little displeased by that. Now in his fourth season last year, a banner year, 24 and seven overall, 19 and three in conference play, lost to UNCP in the PBC title game. Levi backing down on Owens with the right hand, kisses the glass. Racing the other way, Clayton State trying to get something going. Still the starting five on the floor, Tuxin, Kinsey, McRae, Taylor, and Owens. And there's Kinsey airballing a three. Taylor corrals underneath and is able to draw a foul. No matter what happens, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in the mind of Jimmy Link. Looks like he'll make a substitution after this first free throw, which Taylor misses. So we will have two subs, or at least one coming in. The second most likely for Taylor, should he be able to hit this free throw. Clayton State last year heading to the NCAA tournament. It was their first trip as Taylor misses. Rebound corralled by McCray in the putback. It was their first trip to the NCAA tournament in almost a decade, a program that does have a fair amount of success. Mounts from the low block, perfect with the right hook. Mounts' minutes have been dwindling throughout the season, but he's made the most of them. Long three, McCray, and he drains it, falling to his backside. So whistle blows, foul called, Braves will inbound, McCray, no song about getting hot. Clayton State's leading scorer with 15 and a half a game. Back at the beginning of this month, on the fourth and the 11th, he was player of the week in back-to-back -back weeks, averaging across five games, 27 points. Main weapon of choice for him is actually getting to the free throw line, as here's Hamilton. Now mounts. Levi thought about the jumper. Weak pass to Carson. Shot clock down to 10. Brian will draw it out. Gets a screen. Shot clock at five. Loses the handle. Picked up by McRae. Racing to the basket. And that'll be a blocking foul. Miller wanted a charge. Bryant looked like he was there in time, but he may have had a foot in the restricted area. Then getting an explanation from our refereeing crew here this afternoon as McRae heads to the free throw line. McRae, two for two already, three out of three. So far this season, he's gone to the free throw line 41 more times 
this year compared to last year. He's got 151 now, plus three, 154. And with this one, 155 attempts at the free throw line. Short, Levi the rebound. Braves have made their last three from the floor. Bryant all alone for the triple, drains it, plus the foul. Kristoff Nairn called for the foul. Good on Jamal Bryant getting it going so far in this game. He's got five, averaging just seven this game or seven per game, I should say, as the four-point play converts. Braves up by six. Clayton State knows a thing or two about Jamal Bryant. As driving here is Kinsey, a lot of contact, but flying in for the putback is Gabriel Joseph Bryant. The first game between Clayton State in UNCP this season. Jamal Bryant had a double-double, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Fight for a rebound here. Levi keeps on batting it around, falls to Hamilton. Kirk, three ball, nothing but net. Braves now four for four from deep in this game. It's poked free by Bryant, he collects the steal. Kirk feeling hot. Misses, rebound Clayton State. Down in the corner, Kinsey. Now up top, Ricardo Sams Jr. checks into the game and he travels. Braves up by seven and the offense humming. Nine out of 15 from the field. Clayton State not shooting too bad themselves, 50%. JB checks back into the game to a chorus of ovation. Hamilton, Kirk, Murray, Boyles, Levi, and Bryant, the five on the floor for UNCP. We're gonna snap that two game losing streak. Hamilton draws the foul. Worked his way around Joseph Bryant. The big problem in the game against USD Aiken, and it happened in both games the Braves played against the Pacers, was turnovers. The Braves normally a, a very solid team handling the basketball. Average just 14 turnovers per game. Nice feed to Murray Boyles to the basket. No, Bryant the rebound, falls to Levi with the left, drops it in. Levi now with four. Braves by nine, so we hit the 12 minute mark. And it looks like an illegal screen's gonna be called on Joseph Bryan. And at exactly 12 minutes left here in the first half, UNCP is up by nine. Converted on 10 of their 17 field goals and Murray Boyles on senior day has already got six. Spray can be back in a sec. Here on the UNCP Sports Network. <laughs> 